Hey guys, um, I said that I would go live at 9 and tell you about my little sugar uh, post, so here I am, here I am, here I am, here I am. Okay, if you are watching this, drop me a 1 to let me know that you are watching this live, drop me a 2 to let me know that you are watching this on replay, say hi, you know, share this with your friends, whatever you want to do, I got a lot to talk about today. Um, hey Cheryl, hey Deb, hey Linda, so here's the deal. Hey Stacy, hey John, hey everybody. Okay, so I'm not, I can't, I, I can't uh, say hi to everybody, but I'm super excited to talk about this. So I want to give you a little bit of a background um, before I tell you exactly what the sugar was about. So my father passed away 15 years ago um, in July, and um, I remember going to the funeral home with my mom and my father's twin. And we went to the funeral home, you know, to plan everything. And then they take you, if you've ever planned a funeral, um, and especially if you've gone to Saul Levinson, which is the funeral home that we use around here. Um, if you've ever, hey, hey, Jeannie, how are you? Um, if you guys have comments or questions, you can go ahead and, and comment below. So, um, and I can see it as it comes by if I'm paying attention. Anyway, so here's the deal. Um, we go into the casket room, okay, right? So you're sitting there talking to the funeral director. He's telling you how everything is, and then you have to go make some decisions. So we go into the casket room, and this is my father's, um, you know, passing. My mom is very emotional. His twin sister is very emotional. Obviously, we're all a little emotional. And we go into the casket room, and there's, like, all of these different caskets. And the only thing I remember about that entire time, hey, Jakia, um, that entire time about planning his funeral, and I, you know, we did it all of it, but the only thing I remember is this crazy conversation between my aunt and my mother about which casket my father would like better. Would he like the casket with the flat top better, or would he like the casket with the curved top better? And I just stood there in disbelief, and it was the most crazy conversation. And obviously, this was all out of grief, and they weren't fighting. They were just literally seriously discussing which casket would be better and which casket my father would like better. So when my mom passed away um, January 11th, uh, 2014, so, um, you know, just a few years ago, I um, looked at my sister and I said, we are not doing that. We're just, we're not going to argue. We're not going to have a crazy discussion in the casket room about which casket mom would like better. Um, we all know that mom wants the simple, the easy, you know, the least expensive casket. Um, <laughs> you don't remember that? That's the only thing I remember, did you, Um Anyway, so... Anyway, so we're, so we're sitting there, me and my sister, we're in the uh, funeral director's uh, room, they're going over everything, we picked the rabbi, we picked the like this, 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 now we have to go pick the casket. And so my sister and I had decided, we had agreed, okay, that we were not going to argue about anything. And um, just a little back to that is, you know, obviously, um, I'm a chunky, sexy girl, my sister is a little bit chunky, sexy too, and as my mom was getting sick and through the year that she was in chemo and and, and had issues and problems, you know, we stressed eight. And so for the two and a half months that she was in the hospital, I probably put on a good 15, 20 pounds because I was eating hospital food. My sister and I were literally there 24 hours a day. One of us was always with my mom. Uh, so it was a very, very stressful time. We were eating in the hospital. We were eating takeout food. It was really bad. We were gaining weight. We were already, you know, kind of chunky sexy to begin with. Anyway, the reason I bring this up is we go into the casket room at Saul Levinson, which is, again, the funeral home uh, that we all choose. And, guys, if you can hear me, if, you, if you're if you listening to me, just, like, drop me an emoji or something so that I know you all are there. Um, a thumbs up, whatever. Something. Say hi. Um, so we go into the casket room, and... So there's the plain casket. Um, in Judaism, one of the things uh, that they tell you is that you're supposed to uh, get buried in like the simplest, easiest uh, casket that there is. Um, and so my sister and I had agreed that we would get the least expensive casket that was out there, um, but that had handles, right? So we weren't going to get the plain pine box 
which is what Jews are supposed to get buried in officially. And um, we were going to go like just the next step up. Okay, so we come into the room, and I just will never forget this. We come into the room, and there's um, all these caskets around, but they take you to this alcove where you have the plain pine box on this side, right? You have, and then the next level up casket right here. And if you all have ever seen pictures of my mom, okay, my mom was a little shorter than me. She was about 4'11", and uh, she weighed probably at the time of her passing, probably about 30 pounds more than I did at that time. So she was, you know, she was, she was pretty big. Um, yeah, Nancy, you remember that room? It's horrible, terrible. Like I was in that room a lot, unfortunately. Um, so you go in and, and the funeral director comes in with you. My sister and I look at each other and we turn to this casket that's in front of us and we're like, we, we want this one. And <laughs> Uh, the funeral director looks at us, and he's like, um, I'm sorry to inform you, but unfortunately, your mom cannot fit into that casket. You need to upgrade to this casket because she's too wide to fit into that casket. And I just remember my sister and I <laughs> looking at each other, and of course, we got that casket like there was no arguing there was no fighting there wasn't even a conversation okay fine we'll do that I remember coming back into the room and my sister and I just had fits of giggles because like how crazy is it that we're planning a mom's funeral we have to pick a casket I mean this was totally crazy and now we were told that she can't even get buried in the casket that we wanted because she was too big. And so my sister and I are giggling and we're like, okay, you know what? We're going to go on the skinny coffin diet because I never want my children to ever have to go into a casket room and be told that I am too fat to fit into the casket that they want to pick for me. Like that is just never going to happen. I just refused for that to happen. So I was like, we're going to go on a skinny coffin diet so we can be put into the skinny coffin. Because that's what I just wanted. I wanted to be able to fit into the skinny coffin. And obviously, I wasn't going to get put into the skinny coffin at being five foot and being 240 pounds, which is about where I was at that time. I had gained a ton of weight. It was ridiculous. And then, so, you know, so here we are. We buried my mom. Everything was great. Everything was fine. You know, we're going to do, we're going to go on the skinny coffin diet. And we didn't know what we were going to do. We didn't know what kind of diet plan we were going to do. We were just on a mission to lose weight, my sister and I. And then, you know, depression hit and real life hit and all sorts of things hit. And so, I know, Cheryl, this is funny, but I mean, like, that's what we wanted to get into the skinny coffin. Okay. We did not want our children to be told that we were too fat to get into the skinny coffin. Um, we didn't need them to upgrade. So, <laughs> anyway. Where I'm getting is that, um, you know, through these years, I have tried lots and lots and lots of different things to lose weight. Um, uh, I have uh, tried shakes. I have tried uh, Weight Watchers. I've tried diets. I've tried uh, Atkins. I've tried ketones. I've tried um, Metafast. I've, I, I've tried like a million different things, okay? Uh, uh, literally, I, I've tried it all. I don't know what my sister did, but... For a while, we were depressed and whatever, and we kind of like gave that up and decided not to do that. But I tried a million different diets and a, and a million different ways. And, and my husband and I uh, talked about it. And if you know my husband, you also know that, you know, he's a little bit overweight as well. Um, and so, you know, it just wasn't working. Like nothing was working. Nothing was happening. And we were talking one night and it was like, you know, last year and it was getting close to my father's anniversary um the, the anniversary of my father's death um the 15 you know the 15 year anniversary of my father's death and i kind of looked at my husband and, I, and rehashed the whole skinny coffin diet thing story because it's just so funny and it you know just brought back memories and so um you know my husband and i just kind of looked at each other and said okay you know what we're going to start losing weight together. We're just going to do it. We're going to make a plan, and we're going to lose weight. And so if you saw those pictures of sugar, if you saw all those sugar packets, that was eight four-pound bags of sugar, just 32 pounds, which is how much weight I have lost since I started dieting, dieting, since I started dieting 
in July. Our goal was to lose about a pound a week. And my husband has lost close to 35, 40 pounds, I think is what it is. Um, and so here's the secret. You guys want to know the secret. You want to know what made us lose weight. You want to know what it is. You're going to have to message me. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the secret. Want to know the secret? For us, and honestly, like, I'm just going to tell you, I understand so many people have programs that they love. And if you love your program and it's working for you and you are losing weight on that program, great. If you had weight loss surgery, great. I am not judging. I am not talking about anything. Like, I am really, like, truly, like, whatever helps you lose weight is what I want for you. I'm going to tell you what works for my husband and I. I'm going to tell you the secret. I'm going to tell you the the, the what we did to lose the weight that, that we've lost and to continue to lose weight hopefully over the next year. I still obviously have some weight to go. I'm always going to be a little chunky sexy um, because there's just no way I'm getting down to 120 pounds, which is what they tell me I should weigh given my uh, height. No, this is never going to happen. I don't think I was 120 pounds when I graduated high school. Okay, maybe I was, I was less than 120 pounds, but like really, I haven't been 120 pounds in like forever and a day. Um, so I would just be happy, you know, a little lighter. And I'm doing it for my health, uh, and I'm doing it um, not because I have high blood pressure, not because of anything like that in any way, shape, or form. Um, my husband and I actually are pretty healthy. Um, I'm just doing it because I want to feel better, because I want to fit into the skinny coffin. I do not want, at the end of the day, when my children are planning my funeral, I do not want them to have to put me in the fat coffin. I don't want that. Like, that is ridiculous. Who wants to be put into the fat coffin? Who wants your children to be told, I'm sorry, your mom or dad cannot fit into this coffin. You've got to upgrade to the big fat coffin over here. And I know that sounds funny, and I know it's terrible, but, like, I want to be in the skinny coffin. So we went on the skinny coffin diet. And you know what that is for us? That was just being mindful of what we eat. I'm not even kidding. There's no diet. There's no shake. There's no powders. There's no prepackaged meals. There's no, uh, you know, uh, pills. There's no, you know, gallons of waters and jugs and tilapia and fish and all that other kind of crap. No, we still go to Popeye's probably three times a week. But instead of getting fried chicken, we get the naked tender. And we don't eat the biscuit and the french fries. We just eat one side. And for dinner, we have a protein, and I have a vegetable just as an eater. Um, so, and, and maybe, you know, a, you know, a little bit of a starch. We're watching, we're being mindful of what we put into our mouth. And that's it. So all you people who have messaged me over the last month and a half, and I kid you not, there have been 20, 20 people who have messaged me telling me that, I look really great. What am I doing? Do I want to try their flavor diet product of the week, of the month, of the year? And like I said, whatever works for you to help you lose weight is perfectly fine with me. But please stop messaging me and telling me about your program. Please stop messaging me and telling me how it's so wonderful, how it's so fantastic, how I need to go to this doctor, how I need to try this shake, how I need to try this powder, how I need to try this Bill, how I should contact you by private messenger because you've got it good for me. I'm tired of seeing everybody's sugar pictures with the, oh my God, I've lost 30 pounds and, you know, please message me. I lost 34 pounds as of today. That's it. I lost 34 pounds as of today. You know how I did it? I stopped putting crap into my mouth. Now, let me just say, last night I went to dinner. Guess what? I had an entire Smith Island cake. I did. I had a burger. I didn't eat it with the bread, but it had cheese. It had an egg. It had bacon on it. Okay? And I'm not doing ketones because I also have cake. Okay? Like, I don't deprive myself and neither does Jeff. We just decided we need to be mindful of what we put into our mouth. And we're not crazy about the fact Listen, we're not crazy about the fact that sometimes we get off track and that's okay. You know what? If I want to have the biscuit at Popeye's, I'm going to have the biscuit at Popeye's. If I want the lasagna, then I'm going to have the lasagna. When I was driving home from North Carolina after our retreat, 
Uh, we drove by a Bojangles, and I mean, seriously, if you've ever had a Bojangles biscuit, you have to stop and get one because it's freaking delicious. And exactly, bacon. Bacon's on my diet. And if it doesn't have bacon on the diet, that's definitely not a diet for me. Um, but I mean, seriously, like I stopped and I got a biscuit from Bojangles because I wanted a goddamn Bojangles biscuit. And so I knew that whatever I did, whatever plan that Jeff and I did, whatever we did, thanks, Cheryl, whatever we did, um, we wanted to do something that we could forever do. We didn't want to have to be on shakes for the rest of our lives. And again, this is for us, not for anybody else. And the reason I'm doing this video is not because I'm trying to brag, not because I'm trying to, you know, poo-poo on somebody else's plan, because like I said, anything that helps you get healthier, be happier with your body, be happier with yourself, I am all for, I don't care what it is, as long as it's not, you know, cocaine. Um, <laughs> but, but seriously, like, I don't care. But I, I will just say, like, for me, it has to be something that I can continue to do forever. It has to be something that is sustainable forever. It has to be a lifestyle change. It cannot be an actual diet. I don't want to have to diet and get on a program and then when I'm off the program, on the maintenance program, I start slowly get, gaining weight back and then have to go back on the program to lose the weight again. I just want to lose and I want to stay lost. And if I, you know, fluctuate five pounds here or there, it's no big deal. Um, and if I want to have some Thailand cake, I can have that. And if I want to have a Vicaro Claire, I can have that. And if I want to eat a big freaking steak, I can have that too. And I can have my mayonnaise and I can have my eggs and I can have my pasta, and I can have whatever I want because I am just being cautious about what I put into my mouth. And last night I had some Smith Island cake. Today I ate chicken kebab because you know what? Yesterday was kind of bad, so today I'm balancing it out. And that's what it is. Um, <laughs> they don't count the boobs in the butt. Um, they do. They do count the boobs in the butt. Um, so that's it. That's the secret. That's all I'm doing. Um, Please, 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 I love you all. I love every single person who does any type of business that helps uh, support themselves and their family. I love any type of business that is helping you stay healthy, um, to have healthy body, healthy mind, healthy soul, healthy relationships. Whatever it is, I'm really, really happy for you. But please stop freaking private messaging me and telling me I should get onto your diet program of the month because guess what? I'm losing weight without it. And I'm happy with it. So yay me. Please stop messaging me. Uh, please enjoy it for yourself. Please message all of your clients and your friends. Please go spread the word about everything yourself. I am happy for you. I'm happy for them. I'm doing it my way. Thank you very, very much. Now, a year from now, if I gain all my weight back, you can be like, nah, 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 nah. I told you so. But right now, let me have my moment. Let me have my fun. 34 pounds down. Yay, in about, mm, I don't know, what how has it been? Like 20 weeks? I don't know, that's pretty good, right? Maybe it's been like 24 weeks. I think I'm, I, I'm doing pretty well. I okay, have like eight sugar packets. Happy for me. When I get down to the weight that I want to be, I'll take another picture with some sugar, and y'all could look at it there. And then we can talk about it. And if you need motivation, if you need help, if you just want somebody to come there and, and say, come on, girl, let's see what you're doing. And you want some support and you want to do all of that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Ellen. Absolutely. And I go out to eat all the time. So for anybody who's like, I'm on a diet and I can't go out to eat and I can't do things and I wonder, that, no. Okay. If you know anything about Jeff and I and our children, you know that we go out to dinner all the time. It's bad for us. I know. But we still do it. And it's expensive. And, and, you know, that's why I do pure romance, so I can afford my going out to eat habit. Um, seriously. Uh, so, but I will say, we do go out to eat. We go out to Red Robin. I went out to dinner last night. I went out to dinner today. I actually also went out to lunch. Um, so we still do that, and we can, uh, which I'm really, really happy about. But what I was saying is, if for any reason, thanks, Jody, if for any reason, you want somebody to help motivate you. And you can be on a plan, you can have a coach, you can have a doctor, you can have friends, you can be in a group. I know it's January and so there's 8 million of you going to the gym right now so that by February your gym memberships are totally useless because nobody's doing it there. Um, 
Like, I get it. I totally understand. It's time for me to start working out in addition to watching what I eat and stop putting crap in my mouth. Okay? Like, that's all I'm saying. Um, but if you want some support, private message me that. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear that you just want somebody to talk to, that you just want to do a little support. Maybe we'll start a group. Maybe we'll just do something together. Whatever it is, I'm here for you for that. But please stop messaging me that I need to join your diet program because I don't want to join your diet program. I'm doing it just fine on my own. Anyway, thanks, Kim. I appreciate it. Thanks, Cheryl. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Share this video with anybody else that you feel needs motivated and needs motivation to lose weight. Because honestly, losing weight, it is a mindset. It is when you decide it is time to look better. And you can be on the skinny coffin diet too. Because really, do you want your children or your family members to go into the funeral home and find out that you have to go into the fat coffin? No. Nobody wants to be in the fat coffin. I don't want to be in the fat coffin. So seriously, go ahead and let's all be on the skinny coffin diet. And the skinny coffin diet can be any diet you want. It can be a health style change. It can be whatever. You could be low carb. You could be high carb. You could be low fat. You could be whatever the fuck you want to be. Okay? We should get together and talk about that. We're going to start a skinny coffin group. I think that's what I just decided. I just decided I'm going to start a skinny coffin group. If you would like to join my skinny coffin group, so that we can just stay motivated. We're not going to talk about all the diet plans. We're just going to talk about motivating each other to lose weight, to be healthy, to have healthful relationships, and to finally get into the skinny coffin. Okay? Let me know if you want to be in, in, in the skinny coffin group. Um, just post below, I'm in. Okay? And I'll go ahead and I'll add you to my skinny coffin group. Or just find it. I'm going to make it a public group for the time being, because like it's not a secret. We're just trying to motivate each other to lose weight. Um, where did I go for dinner? Cheryl, we went, you mean last night? Um, last night I went to dinner to the Nickel Tap House. Um, and so I had a burger and I had some oysters and I had some pork belly, which was like really freaking good. Um, and uh, we also had some uh, uh, Brussels sprouts, which are like the bomb there, if you've never eaten those there. And tonight I went to dinner at Yasu, so I had, um, uh, chicken kebabs uh, with um, salad. So I just didn't get the rice because I am, that is one thing I am definitely doing is just trying to watch my carbs. Because for me, I have noticed that the less carbs I eat, the quicker and easier it is for me to lose weight. But for some people, it's low fat. For some people, it's, you know, taking other things out, gluten. Um, you know, some people have dietary restrictions. I don't. I eat anything and everything, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, at Red Robin, just so you guys, like, okay, so I'm just talking, so just so you guys know, like, at Red Robin, I'll have a burger, but I'll have it in a lettuce bun, and I'll have a side salad instead of getting the french fries. So that doesn't mean I don't steal a french fry from Jeff, it just means I don't get my own french fries. Um, uh, for lunches, I really typically try to stay with the salad. Um, I've stopped eating a lot of sandwiches, a lot of bread. Again, I'm just trying to watch my carbs. I don't miss pasta. I don't care about pasta. It doesn't really matter to me. My family does like pasta. So if we go to an Italian restaurant, I'll have a salad and I will have maybe some veal or um, like lamb or, or something like that. And I, you can pretty much find something helpful, helpful or something uh, better for you any place you go. And remember, it's just about moderation. For me, that's what it is. Thank you, Nancy. It's all about just keeping an eye out what you're doing. So last night I was fast, today I was better, tomorrow I'll be best. You know, that's how kind of how it goes. I weigh myself every day. I don't care if I go up, um, you know, some days because that's just going to happen as long as I'm trending downward. I keep my weight in my fitness pal. That's all I do. I don't even keep uh, my, my food tracker in there. I'm just tracking my weight and I only put it as I go down. That's it. That's it. That's all I do. Thanks, Cindy. Um, it's a like, yeah, exactly. It is a lifestyle change. It is something that you have to do forever. It's not going to be something we're going to fix. Every once in a while, I cheat. I had fried chicken at Popeye's the other day. And you know what? It was really, really good. And you know what else? If I wasn't able to do that, if I didn't cheat every once in a while, I'd stop this program instantaneously. Because 
if I feel deprived, if you feel deprived, if you feel like you are missing something, I love you more too. Um, if you feel like you are missing something, then you're not going to want to stay on it if you constantly feel like you're on a diet. And so, you know what? You want some fried chicken? Go get yourself some fried chicken. And then for the next week, be good, right? Um, I told you, Cheryl, I went to Nickel Tap House, which is in Mount Washington. That's where I went to dinner last night, the Nickel Tap House. Um, so, uh, Jeannie, I don't know what you said. I can't. Oh, I mean for that total weight, I mean one of my butt cheeks. <laughs> it does not. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. So there we go. That's where I go to eat. That's what I've been eating. Um, if you want to know what I'm eating at every restaurant that I go to, and trust me, if there's a restaurant in Baltimore, I probably tried it and been there. Um, I also drink some calories occasionally, um, although I've tried not to drink as many calories as I used to. Um, I'm, again, just being mindful. So. If you want to be part of my skinny coffin group, please go ahead and say, um, I want to be part of uh, my skinny coffin um, uh, group. And uh, if you are selling a product, what's rude? I don't know what's rude. I can't tell. Did I say something bad? I'm sorry. I love you. Um, if you are selling a diet product, please stop messaging me. I'm, I, I'm not doing it. Just letting you know, straight up. Um, Good for you. I'm glad it's you, but um, I'm not doing it. And you're right, Nancy. I'm doing it my way. Um, I'm, uh, and guess what? <laughs> By the way, I went to the melting pot the other day. I'm going to Fogo Chitao uh, this week because it's my son's birthday and it was my husband's birthday. And I'm sure when my daughter's birthday comes around in February, we're also going to go somewhere fattening and disgusting. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. You can eat what you want as long as you do it in moderation. That's the goal. That's my motto. That's what I'm doing. Thank you very much. I so appreciate it. Love you guys. Skinny Coffin for life. Skinny Coffin take two. Yay! Love you guys. Bye. How do I turn this off?